individuals and organizations grow their business and to embrace innovation. Today, Keith will speak about how to connect your passions to your goals so you can turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. My favorite questions to ask people is, what are they most passionate about? You see, I love having meaningful conversations with people about what they're passionate about, what they love to do, what energizes, enthuses, and gives them great enjoyment. You see, when the whys become clear, the hows become easy. When you know why you get up in the morning, you'll find the how. But so often we talk about the how. This is how you prospect. This is how you convert a sale. But until you know why, until you know why, you'll never do the how. Paul Money, CEO Benjamin King Money, says, Keystar was world class, and my people stayed engaged throughout his entire presentation. He actually got people to commit to a precise timetable of actions and deliver. Hello everybody, my name's Joshua Nichols. I'm from Platinum Electricians. I uh, currently have a franchised business where we're running 31 franchisees across the country. Uh, we're running 100 vans. We're also sponsoring 100 children through an initiative that we have One Van, One Child. I'm here just to recommend Keith Abraham to you. We've just had him at our conference and um, I just want to give a raging referral because he has just fitted into our culture. He has brought something to our conference brought something to our franchisees that, that's been imparted into them that they're going to leave with. I've always predominantly been a how presenter. Okay, so this is how you close the sale. This is how you gain customer loyalty. Wrote right? a best-selling book on that. This is how you... And in essence, people actually don't really care about how until they know why. To get to your ultimate goal is obviously passion is required and he was he was there to actually put that out in a way that everybody really enjoyed. It was quite humorous and um, it was very much worthwhile. Yeah, so how many people in this room are procrastinating? Oh my god. How <laughs> did I catch it? Um, you know normally when I ask that question, people put their hand up like this. <laughs> can, can I get back to you on that? And we sit out and smoke going, he'd say nothing. Stare off in the distance, dreaming of his mother sauerkraut. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And, and, and what, what I worked out four weeks into my time with Klaus is back in Germany, Klaus held the German record for laying the most amount of bricks in a day. Is this the guy you want to work for? No, you want to work for the slowest brick guy from Germany. And I thought, I'm out here. I worked my way up to the prestigious position of noxious weed inspector. <laughs> and it's not that type of weed I'm talking about, it's, it's noxious weeds, so and I think they're okay. I, I would uh, then go up in the hinterland of the Gold Coast where there were none noxious weeds and shady trees, and I used to sleep a couple of hours every day. I used to then go down to a place called Burley Beach. Everyone know where Burley Beach is on the Gold Coast? Nice part of the world. Not my council jurisdiction, but I wanted to go above and beyond the village. <laughs> Let me ask you this, who do you need to go back to and have a meaningful conversation about what's important to you, what's your passion, what matters to you, and what's gonna make a difference? And can I ask you before you leave this event that you have that conversation with yourself first? Because when you have that conversation with yourself First, we all benefit. We all have lifted. There's a lovely quote, a rising tide lifts all boats. Have the conversation with yourself about what's, what you're passionate about and then go and have that conversation with people that mean the world to you. You see, if it's not you, then who? And if it's not now, then when? If it's not you that does it for you, then who's going to do it? And if now's not a good enough time, when will it ever be? When will you say, enough's enough? And that's enough from me. Thanks very much for listening. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm at a client briefing, and the conversation goes a little bit like this. Keith, I want our people to be 
more focused on sales. I want them to deliver world-class customer service. I want them to change before they need to. I want them to deliver on their brand promise. My response was simple. What you need is more passionate people. You see, I believe at the core of everything we do is passion. You need to have a passion personally in your life. You need to have a passion in your business. You see, when the whys become clear, the hows become easy. When people have a big enough reason why, they'll do the uncomfortable and the inconvenient. They'll do it because they want to, not because they have to. The challenge that businesses face today is having more passionate people. Because the byproduct of more passionate people is that they take initiative, they innovate, they implement their ideas, and more importantly, as leaders, they inspire others to follow. If we can get those elements to collide, if we can get, understand the people's reason why, with your goals and objective, and understand that the vehicle is your business to help them pursue their passion, the byproduct of that is energy, enthusiasm, and engagement. What if, what if your people were more passionate? What could they achieve? What if your people were more passionate? What could your business achieve? What we do is create passionate people. And you will be the benefactor of that. Mm -hmm.